Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the next cause that is the automobiles. Now in automobiles they release harmful tiny particles in the air. So if you look at the vehicles which run on road, not all the vehicles because these days a lot of measures have been taken to control the release of harmful substances. But a lot of vehicles you will see that they release black gases, the smoke and dust as they move on the road. So these particulate matter which are released if they are inhaled, they can cause several diseases, they can cause severe respiratory problems. In fact, the presence of such, uh, these kind of smoke and dust on the road also reduce the visibility of traffic on roads. So it becomes very difficult for the driver to see where the vehicles are moving on roads and therefore uh, the chances of accidents increase. Because like, like how you do not prefer to drive on a foggy weather because due to the presence of fog, you are not able to see the traffic on the road. In a similar way, if all the vehicles release so much of smoke and dust, so due to the presence of such smoke and dust, everything becomes, the air becomes blackish and you are not able to see the vehicles in front of you. So that makes it very dangerous. They also produce high levels of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. So we have already discussed about nitrogen oxide. So we know how harmful are they. Now let us talk about carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So let's first discuss carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide is an extremely poisonous gas. So if you talk about carbon monoxide, it is extremely harmful or extremely poisonous. What does it do? It can lead to death if it is present in large quantities inside a person. Now, how is it produced? The first question. Carbon monoxide is produced due to incomplete burning of petrol or diesel. So, incomplete burning of petrol or diesel. So, that is why these days, in order to reduce air pollution, uh, in many places, Petrol and diesel have been replaced with CNG because CNG do not release a lot of carbon monoxide. So that is one advantage of using CNG. So carbon monoxide will be produced from burning of petrol and diesel. Now if somebody inhales carbon monoxide, if carbon monoxide enters inside the body of a person, it affects or it reduces the delivery of oxygen to different organs of the body. Now if oxygen is not delivered to each and every organ, what will happen? That particular organ will not be able to function because each and every cell inside our body needs oxygen for respiration. And with the help of oxygen only, they are able to produce energy and that energy enables them to perform their job. So oxygen is must. But if carbon monoxide is present, it blocks the circulation of oxygen throughout the body. And that ways it becomes extremely poisonous. Now let us talk about carbon dioxide. We know that carbon dioxide, if it is present in uh, the right amount, then it is useful because living organisms need carbon dioxide to a large extent. For example, plants need carbon dioxide to perform photosynthesis and all other animals are dependent on plants directly or indirectly for their food. But if the level of carbon dioxide increases too much, so if if high concentration of carbon dioxide is present, then it can lead to greenhouse effect. And what is greenhouse effect? So, I mean, I think we will discuss that a little later. But if, if it adds to greenhouse effect, this can increase the overall temperature of the earth. So, overall temperature of the earth increases and that makes it less suitable for the survival of living organisms. It also releases a lot of smoke and all of we know that we can actually visualize the smoke that gets released from the vehicles which run on road and these smoke again contain a lot of nitrogen oxides. So oxides of nitrogen are there which again combine with other particles in air to form nitric acid. It also combines with fog to form smog and that is why it is called smog. Smog is smoke plus fog. All of you would have seen the appearance how fog looks like on a winter morning. Now due to the presence of so much of smoke in the environment, the fog combines with smoke to form a smog and that gives a blackish appearance everywhere. 
and these smog can cause breathing problems, asthma, cough, etc. So mostly if you see air pollution affect us in a way that it uh, causes us respiratory problems because we breathe in air. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.